what's up nerds, Xavier Elon here. I just tried to record this video and I didn't realize my microphone was off, so I have to reshoot it. So let's just jump right into it. Um, I was learning about uh, trees. I realized that um, they're kind of like a weak point for me. Don't understand how to code them very well. So I've been working on those. So let's go over dynamic binary tree. So given a binary tree, you need to compute the length of the diameter of the tree. The diameter of a binary tree is the length of the longest path between any two nodes in a tree. This path may or may not pass through the root. So if they give us this binary tree, um, the diameter is the max of the left subtree for one and the, the max of the right subtree. So the right height is one, three, and then the left height is two. It could be four and two or it could be two and five um, so you see those two answers right here um, in this case it the it does pass through the root but um, there's examples where it doesn't actually created a tree where it's not gonna pass through the root so here's my test case oops we scroll up so we have here we see one the diameter is gonna be the left subtree well the left subtree is null so it's just, a, in this case, it's the right subtree. You're still gonna add the left subtree, but it's zero. So the height of the right subtree is one, two, three, four. So it's just gonna be four. But the for three, which isn't the root, we have a diameter of five because the left subtree is one, two, three, and the right subtree is one, two. So we just add those together, you get five. Um, so I'm gonna explain the intuition for how we're gonna solve this. We're gonna use depth first search. So we're going to use a recursive call. It's going to be on the stack. Um, as you guys know, I'm sure, as you guys know, I'm sure you guys know this, that the stack you have to pop off from the top. So we're going to start at one. It's going to check the left side, uh, null, and it's going to return zero. So one's still on the stack. So let's say this is the stack. Um, then it's going to check the right subtree and it's going to so we're at three now and it's going to check the left subtree of three so we're going to go all the way down and then it's going to check the so we're three is on the stack now and we're going to check four left subtree of four is null four is on the stack i'm not going to well i guess i will write it there and then it's going to check the right subtree of four um and we're going to keep going we're going to check the left subtree of six which is null and then we're going to check the right subtree. So 6 is on the stack. I'm not going to fill up the stack all the way, but um, it should make sense as we start popping them off. Um, then we're going to check the left subtree is null for 10 and null for right. And then we're going to go back up to 6. So we're going to pop 6 off. We're going to calculate the max diameter um, left subtree plus a right subtree so it's just one in this case um, I'll write that in green so it's one and we're just gonna go all the way back so now we're gonna go back up to four four is gonna be two left subtree plus right subtree uh, we're gonna pop that off and then we're gonna go to three um, three is gonna go check the right subtree now and so on it's gonna go left no no pop back off eventually we'll pop off three and finally one and then we'll just return the max so let's just code that out now hopefully that made sense man <sighs> sorry this is okay there we go so um we have to use i had to use a global variable i know it's not good practice i just couldn't find another way to do it if you guys know of another way please let me know in the comments i would love to find a way to it without using a global variable I thought it was to use a pointer, um, but I guess only C++ does that. So we just want to, I had to create a, a DFS um, function. So we're gonna call that, um, let's call it longest path. And we're gonna pass in the root. And then we're just gonna return, at the end of this function, we're gonna return longest path. And yeah, you can see the code, okay. Now let's create our function. So my pi iPad's acting weird. Private int longest path. And we have to pass in a tree node. And let's call it node this time, not root, because it's not always going to be the root. We were just passing in the root in the 
in this function. So if node equals null, that means we're going to return 0 because the height's going to be 0 if the node is null. So return 0. And where's. Looks like there's an extra braces. Okay. So we're gonna have we're gonna have a int left height and a right height. So it's gonna be we're gonna recursively call it. So we're calling this function to calculate it. And we're gonna pass in node dot left and same for right height. And then we just want to calculate the new longest path. So we're going to use the math.max function and it's going to be longest path. We're going to compare it to the current longest path and just right height plus left height because remember that's how we're calculating the diameter. And then we want to, so this is where we're returning the int that's going to be set to left height and right height. Um, so we're going to return math.max Hold on, something just popped up. Of um, <clears throat> left height. So it's going to be either the left height or the right height. And we just have to add one because we want to account for that node. So let me explain that um, real quick. Ah, man. So if we're at, let me move this over. If we're at four, we're gonna want to return. We're gonna want to find the uh, the height. Um, so it's going to be um, left height. So no, it's we're calculating it for three basically. Um, it's because we're popping it off the stack. So it's gonna check for the max of left height or right height and we have to add one because we have to account for the four and that's what's going to be set for the third node um, hopefully that makes sense um, I'm going to trace through it in the debugger with you guys so you guys can see better so let's just run this it works and it's going to have O of N runtime because we're just going through all the nodes same for the space complexity it has N recursive calls on the stack so that's why it's that and let's go through the debugger so um, so it's we're, we're at one right now and we're gonna check the left subtree left subtree is null if you guys remember so we're gonna return zero the so the left height's gonna be zero And then we're going to check the right height. So we're recursively calling it. One's going to be on t the bottom of the stack, technically. So now we're at three. And we're going to check the left subtree of three. And then we get to four. Check the left. Four goes down to six. When we're checking the right. And just so on and so on. Um, I just want to get to the answer of three to show you guys. So no, if it's null, you return zero. So left height is zero. But now we're going to check the right subtree of four, and then the left subtree of six, which is zero, or left subtree of six is zero. Sorry. And I'm just going to speed through this so this video isn't super long till we get to three. And so now we're going back up the stack. It's popping the functions off the stack. And it's going to be setting the longest path the entire way up. It has to calculate both left height and right height. So now we're at three. Um, now it's going to calculate the right height. But it has to check all the nodes in the right subtree first. So we're going to check five and seven. Check the left height and right height of both of them. So there you go, 7 is 0 and 0, and 5 should be 1 and 0. Sorry. And, and now we're going to go back up, pop up to 3, and it's going to set the right height to 2, and then it's going to set the longest path to math.max, the longest path. So 
which is I think three so far so it's gonna be set to five now um, and then it's gonna calculate the right height Oh, it already did so now we're at one um, one has a right height of four because you have one two three four so in this case the root isn't doesn't have the highest diameter and that's about it so it gives us an answer of five right there um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments. Um, if you guys want me to do any problems, let me know and I will. Thanks for watching, guys.